Hello and welcome. I'm Robetsa Red, and this is the GSD, or Give Me Some Drum by Blue Lantern Modules. Give Me Some Drum is a 10 HP, really basic drum synthesizer, mainly used for kick drum, but you could use it for all other sorts of drum sounds like toms, syncussion, 70s, pew, laser sounds, or even track it volt per octave and use it as a bass lead which I did in this opening. So enough talking about it, let's hear it, and I'll do the walkthrough of the module first, and then we'll do kind of a deep dive of all the sounds we can get. So just to make this simple, we'll start at the top left and go across and down to the bottom right. So we'll start with this little pop knob, which every trigger, it just gives us a little pulse that gives us a little bit more pop to our kick. I'm going to turn that back down for right now. Then we have this short long trigger, which applies to our decay time of our envelope applying to the VCA. Right now it's set at short, and we can adjust the time with the decay knob. And we could go very clicky short. And then there's the long, which gives you a nice longer booming kick or drum sound, whatever you want. And then since it's connected, this next knob is just the amount that it applies to the VCA. It's just an attenuator for that envelope. And why would you want to set it lower? Well, if you want to use the accent input. Then let's jump over to the left side here. We have the same short and long switch for an envelope, but this is applying to the pitch. So you could hear right now, it's shooting the pitch down a bit once the trigger is fired. We could start at a higher and higher note with the attenuator here, or the depth of our envelope being applied to the pitch and we could adjust the decay time from really short and clicky to nice and long. But this sounds better when you use it a bit more subtly. Quick envelope and not too much on it and then we give it some pop and we have a nice kick sound that brings us to these three knobs down here the bottom left is our tune so that's just our master pitch the bottom right knob is our vca which we can close more to get more pops we can get it so it's still closed but it activates a little bit easier. I believe it goes exponential when you get to the pop setting. And then we have the setting up here, which is our indicator that the VCA is about to start opening. So let's stop our kick. And I'm going to turn our pitch up so we don't hear anything yet. But then once I go past that point, we open up our VCA. So it's a great way to use it as a regular oscillator if you don't want to use this envelope generator, you could just leave it open. Or if you want to manually just add some extra boom, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go back to the kick setting. And lastly, that brings us to the timbre knob, which changes our waveform. It starts at a sine wave, and then it morphs into a triangle wave. And then it slowly turns into a pulse wave. I'm going to turn the pitch and pop down so we could hear the waveform better. And I'll just turn the VCA up and turn this attenuator down so we have just our open VCA. Let's turn the kick off so we don't have any click at all. Turn our pitch up a little. So start at sine wave, triangle wave, and then it morphs into a pulse wave. So when you add your kick back in, you can really 
shape the sound, and it's kind of like if you want it filtered or more pulse wavy. Now let's check out this accent input here. So to do that, I'm going to turn the amp down, and I'm going to plug some CV into the accent here, and you can see that I can just increase and decrease my CV amount via a foot pedal that I'm using. So as I increase, we get increased volume. And even if you're at max, it'll still push it a bit further. Then we have our Volper Octave input. as you would expect to moving CD. Now the linear works a little bit different. Once the CV stops moving, it stops affecting it. So I'm going to wiggle this around and then leave it high and we can see it stopped. So it's kind of like a non-buffered input. So it's great if you want to add some vibrato or just kind of mess things up a little bit, but not too much with the pitch and not to go too crazy high or low. Like what happens if we patch the output and feed it back into the linear FM. Or what if I patch it into the accent? You can drive it a bit. And just for kicks, here's it in the full proactive. get a bit more granular with the sounds like the timbre we'll try it with different pitch settings and different decay amounts And now let's listen to it again with the Volt Pro Octave bass line going here. And I'm going to do similar things with that on this Give Me Some Drum.
Now let's check this out in a full drum beat using the accent and then the linear FM. Now let's take a look at the linear FM with the same input I was using for the accent, so it's just some gates. Let's check out the Volt Per Octave first, because that's going to be the most obvious. Let's check out the linear FM input. It's giving us similar decay and envelope as a short pitch envelope here. Let's give it a little crazier gate. Pretty cool effects with just the gate into the full proactive or the linear FM. But this responds to when the gate drops as well, which is why we're getting those weird off time things.
Give Me Some Drum by Blue Lantern Modules. Until next time.